I feel some scatter energy and confusion when it comes to people that brings you comfort, people that you um, you allow into your life, okay? So what I mean by that is I'm feeling as if for the past, you know, 10, 5, 10 years, if you've been feeling as if, okay, I, this person, I trust them, I know them, and I feel like something on a foundational level is being shaken. And um, it's not like severe or extreme like the tower card, but I feel in a foundational way, something you thought you knew, something you thought you could always count on is being rattled, okay? And you're getting a lot of the similar cards that uh, Libra's received as well. So for a lot of you, there might be involvement or past involvement with the Libra. Libra's um, the air sign quality. So let's just see here. So how I do the reading is that I'm going to do three, four clusters, three advice cards, and then we'll clear them up and go into your love reading. So there is a fire sign. Interesting. Not a an air sign, but a fire sign. So you have very similar cards to Libra's, and it deals with social relationships as well, or at least, you know, needing to break out of your comfort zone in order to chart new territory, in order to expand your social circle. And I feel as if um, you've been retreating in your comfort zone, which is your haven, your house, for quite some time. And it is time for you to break out, but you might not feel comfortable enough to do that. So let me get two more cards and then we'll go into the reading. Yeah, so fire energies. Okay, so first of all, I see movement happening for sure. So I, I definitely um, feel that the travel is, is um, the travel that I was picking up, I feel like it, it's happening. And I feel like this might be traveling back to your childhood home in order to take care of some possibly even estate planning in order to see, you know, a maternal or paternal figure that is um, prominent in your life. It can be grandmothers, grandfathers, but I definitely feel some travel is indicated. There is a home associated with it. And I, I don't know if there is like ties to a very significant geographical location where you want to establish your home, or if there is... Um, ties to like some childhood home that you grew up in and that you had a, um, a very good childhood in, okay? I feel that for a lot of you, you're, uh, you're, missing, you're missing family, you're missing family members. And I feel like whoever it was that raised you, whoever you consider mom or dad, they're figuring very prominently in for this month. And you want to be in their arms. You want to feel, you know, that safety and the comfort of their, with their presence. You want their presence in your life to give you a little bit more grounding, humility, as well as just love and, and care. So I feel like there is a, almost a sense of escapism regarding wanting to, to feel like a child again and to feel safe and protected. I feel like there's a lot of confusion in your midst and as a result of it, you might be yearning for a simpler time, okay? A simpler moment in time. So first of all, let's talk about the, the first two cards. Um, the first card here is the Seven of Wands. It, it's a card about valor. It's a card about fighting for the things that you believe in and not taking a step back, not recoiling in fear, and not being a doormat to other people and their own agendas. This is a card about facing your opposition head on, facing your fears, and uh, doing it in a way to prove a point, okay? On a matter of principle alone, or just because you feel like you need to prove a point, okay? Whatever the reason is, I do feel you're doing it, and... Um, the advice here is make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. So I feel like this is a card about conflict. And this is a card about ideas. The Seven of Cups is about scatter energies. And it's basically look at the options ahead of you and figure out what it is that you're fighting for. Why you have some uh, emotional attachment to certain things that might not be good for you. Because all the choices, all the options here, you have the snake in the upper, what is the upper right corner? 
and that is not a good choice so figure out why you have special you know emotional ties or connection to certain things and why you're hanging on to them and whether or not they're really good for you pick your battles is what both of these cards are saying and make sure that you stand by the things that you believe in but at the same time if people are questioning you maybe there is some validity to what they're saying and why they're asking you because to them it might not make sense so you have to really narrow down what it is that I really want to fight for and is it smart for me to, at this point to pick my battles okay so don't re don't engage in all the conflict pick the ones that you feel is right for you both of these cards are seven so um, seven is a very very spiritual number it is ruled by the planet Neptune it deals with um, it, it deals with like Neptune is a very transient planet and it brings about confusion it brings about as well spiritual awakening but what I'm feeling is that um, yeah all the the irons you have in the fire all the projects that you have going on for you it seems as if you're waiting for them to materialize and the, the thing here is you really need to narrow down your options because you're scattering your energy. You're fighting a losing battle, okay? So you want to really be careful about narrowing down false options, letting them fade away because the Neptunian energy is very strong. It brings about confusion, self-doubt. But these self-doubts are coming through so that you can reassess the situation and to make it better, all right? In terms of the second cluster here, we have a card about social interactions. First of all, for a lot of you, I feel that you're waiting for some projects to come into the picture. You are potentially waiting on some friends to come visit you. They have made promises to you that they're going to come visit you and you're just waiting for their ship to come in on the horizon, okay? There is going to be friends, social visits, social interactions coming into the picture and it's going to make you feel very happy. And wow, so we have two sevens here and we have two threes here so interesting and seven threes are both um, the number seven and the number threes are both very very karmic numbers as well so the first thing here is that if someone is um, I feel like someone is coming to see you you're coming to see somebody as well and there's going to be a celebration at the end of it a reunion a kind of coming together in a very beautiful non-judgmental way so I feel like you're around a very good support group and a very good um, just a good group of people overall that bring you a lot of emotional stability um, there might be some friendships that are you know long established friendships that, that you've known forever Friends that you've known forever, they have been in your life forever. They bring you a lot of emotional support and fulfillment, which is very good, Scorpio. And that's what you really need to diffuse away a lot of that confusion and self-doubt, okay? The other thing I'm sensing here is for a lot of you, if you have been working hard in the work environment, I feel like, you know, we started with a three of seven of wands. We're going down to a three. You are going to have to narrow down your options and um, in order for you to get things off the ground you can only invest in three realistically you can only make three come to fruition so don't scatter your energies narrow down your options possibly a lot of you are going from a seven to a three and then as a result of it of narrowing down these options you are going to get very favorable outcomes in terms of funding so there is a celebration coming as a result of you narrowing down your options on the work front okay the next cluster here is the Queen of Wands and the Star. So this is about uh, passion, dreams, inspirations. So first of all, let's talk about the Star card. The Star card deals with wishes coming true, wishes being granted to you. And I feel like for a lot of you, it is on the work on the finance front. So a lot of you might be thinking about changing homes, might be relocating. You might have applied for three or seven at first you you narrow down you know seven options and then it came to a three and then out of the three you have one option that you absolutely adore and you can't live without and I feel like for a lot of you you're getting your wish fulfilled and also um, I feel like the information is coming in towards the end of the month so you're not going you're going to be kept in the dark just a little bit and that that 
that period of suspense, think of it as a trial phase. You know, it's uh, the universe's way of testing you. What is it, Scorpio, that you really want? Is this the choice that you really want? Are you sure about that? Because you really want to send out the good intentions, okay? So be very clear about what it is that you want because it is coming through for you. And I feel for a lot of you, it might be, it might be um, dating prospects. It might be projects. Although I feel like work, relocation, relocating far away for work is indicated. Uh, what also is coming in is we have the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is a fire energy around you. So this is a um, Sagittarius Leo um, Aries. And this is somebody that is figuring very prominently in this decision-making process for good or bad, okay? Because like I said, I don't read reversals here. But I'm already sensing some type of polar opposites here. So the star is a card about Aquarius. It's a card about the humanitarian. The queen of wands is a card about more of the, um, the close-knit family unit. It also deals with individuality. Both of these cards deal with individuality. But the end goals here is this is more of a security person. This is more of a uh, humanitarian expansion. So you have some options here. Do you want to make decisions, um, move location, relocate based on uh, what this per how you want your life with this person to to? So let me rephrase that. Are you making the decision for yourself or are you making a decision with this fire sign? I feel like that's something you are going to have to decide. And I feel that the decision has been very clear cut, has been very easy. But now that you have another person in the mix, it might be difficult for you to work together as a unit. So I feel some opposition coming through here. But I do feel that no matter what, this person likes to travel they like to experience, experience new things. And they also, they're a very, very good partner with you. Okay, so I feel that it won't go wrong. It can't go wrong. And I do feel that deep down, you just need to figure out what you want to do, whether or not you want to maintain your own independence or to work together as a unit, as a partnership with another person. In terms of what's coming through on your emotional, st in your emotional state is this. I feel like for a lot of you, this is your energy that you're bringing. Both of these cards are your energies. You're showing up here as the Prince of Cups, which is the Knight of Cups. You are at a point where you crave stability and partnerships, okay? You crave the emotional connection. You crave the emotional rapport. But you're also at a situation where you've been through many, many, many relationships where Everything was a battle. I feel like you were dating the wrong people. You were attracted to the wrong people. And deep down in your hearts of hearts, you were dating somebody who was very different from you philosophically, possibly even culturally, ethnically. But more than anything, you were dating people that who were very exciting, but they were not compatible with you. And I feel like you're you're starting to learn this. And I feel like, you know, it took that uh, Saturn transit for a lot of you to get out of bad relationships or unhealthy relationships, okay? And sometimes it just means that, you know, the other person is fine and all, but they're not the right one for you. And it's really important to accept that. So I feel like going back to this spread, first of all, there are people from your past that you potentially grew up with. They might not be the best people for you. They might not be bad people, but there are innate incompatibilities. So you want to just be careful about that. But looking at this specifically, okay, I feel like a lot of you um, are craving relationships and you're putting yourself out there in a position where, you know, you want a relationship, you want stability, you want a partner to bounce ideas off of. But at the same time, the ones that, um, the ones that come in are the ones that have emotional baggage. So I feel like you are going to have to take it slow, okay? What I'm also feeling is um, I feel that for a lot of you, there is a fire sign and it's a very strong energy and it's coming in so strongly that I, I feel as if you're, you want to make this person an offer 
but I feel a very flirtatious vibe about them. So you're not sure about them and you're holding off on the offer. You want to make them an offer, but you don't trust it 100%. There is some cloudiness, there's some confusion regarding this fire sign in your mist, and you're not sure if you trust them 100%. And I feel that emotionally, you are very in tune with them. You might have a long history together, but I feel that in a practical way, you don't trust them. And there's nothing wrong with that, but you have to also understand, you know, where is the mistrust coming from? And what should you do about it moving forward? So that's pretty much where you're kind of at a standstill. And, um, you know, I, I say this, like Scorpios, you have strong intuition. I say this every month. Um, just because someone is, um, ha you have a long history with someone, it doesn't mean that they're good for you. And because you have a long history with someone, you have a lot of trouble letting the past go. And you know that whole Saturn transit for the past three years? It's a purging process. It's to declutter your closet. It's to clean out your space. Clean out the mental gunk, okay? Clean out those heavy, emotionally burdensome relationships. Let them go and travel light. And I feel like you're at the threshold of your life where you are relocating. You're moving on still. You're moving on. But I feel like there is somebody still haunting your memories. There is somebody that um i feel almost like um so i feel like a fire sign and i feel possibly sun moon or rising it's not just their sun sign i feel like a very strong independent very possibly you know fire sign with aquarius or even fire sign sun moon or rising there is somebody who is like not afraid to live their life their own the the, the way that they know how and I feel like for a lot of you um, as well, and this is not going to apply for all, but if you're dealing with a fire sign who is very authentic in the way he or she lives their life, and you were going through life where you were trying to appease other people, you were trying to please everybody, and um, I felt like on a soul level, you were developing kind of that, that social chameleon effect where you blended in with your environment and you didn't speak your truth. And this fire sign really spoke their truth. And I feel like you're haunted by the way they live their lives, how successful they are. And you're very fascinated by just, you know, the, the process of them, of how strong they are. And I feel like you wish you could be that strong. And that's what I'm sensing. But I feel like at the same time, there is mistrust. There is intimidation. But they're still, you're still thinking about them. I feel that you're still thinking about them. And it doesn't have to be a relationship partner. It's just somebody that made quite an impression on you. And you can't shake the memories of them. I feel like that's what's um, coming through uh, Scorpios. So, you know, aim for authenticity. I feel like if you need to reach out, reach out, okay? You need to reach out, reach out. But I, I do feel that... A lot of you, if it has been something before that Saturn transit period or during the Saturn transit, if it's no longer in your life, it's it, it means that it's not right for you. So let it go. But if you need to, well, just let it go. If it's during that Saturn transit phase and it was a significant person in your life or you have reached out, they're not responding. I feel that it is time for you to move on. If you have reached out and they're not responding, okay? Um, I feel travel movement happening for you as well. So... What is coming in, in terms of your advice here, is we have the Prince of Wands, which is the fire energy. We also have the Emperor, okay? So let me just say that I feel for a lot of you, you are in a very good state in your life right now where you are rebuilding the family unit, where you are having uh, rebuilding your social networks, and you're feeling in a really good frame of mind, okay? Um other people in your life are also in the process of, of they're going through, you know, um, developments. They're going through expansion, emotional expansion, as well as spiritual expansion. And everyone is in a good spot right now. 
So it would be in your best interest to advance ahead, move on with new projects, move on with new developments, rather than going back and crashing a situation, okay? Live in the future, not in the past. So what I'm feeling with all of these cards, let me hold them up so that you can see them. We have the Ten of Cups here. And we have the emperor, and the emperor is just like, no, 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 don't head this way, go this way, start a new life for yourself, start something new, you have new projects, new opportunities in the works for you, I'm going to guide you in that direction, and you're going to be okay, but I feel like a lot of you are resisting this major move in your life, so you're moving backwards rather than forward, so the advice here in terms of all of these three cards showing up is that you want to move on. There is somebody, I feel like there's somebody in your life and they have moved on and um, you're trying to reach out and I feel like it's not going to serve its purpose, okay? At the same time, if you are expanding your social networks, but you're coming back home to see friends and family and people you grew up with, just make sure, first of all, just make sure that they're still adding value to your life, okay? rather than uh, subtracting from it. Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, you have to empty, you have to close some doors on, on some relationships, and especially if you grew up with them, but they brought you problems, they bring drama. It's really important to close the, the, the doors on those people, okay? So let's see what's going on for you in terms of um, relationships. Um, on a last note, I just want to say that if a, a social interaction drains you if you feel like, wow, this person is expecting a lot from me. It seems to me like it's a burden, and it's a burden that you can do without, okay, Scorpios? So that's just rule of thumb in life overall, okay? Live your life unencumbered and travel light. I feel that everyone will be happier as a result of it. So let's see what's in store for you now for uh, love relationships. What is in store for... Scorpios, love and relationships. Okay, this one wants to come out. Hmm. You've got an air sign, possibly Aquarius. I mentioned, you know, fire sign, Aquarius energy with the Queen of Wands as well as the star card. So that's interesting. A lot of you might have um, air sign, sun, moon, or, or sun, moon rising. And you're watching this because of your other aspects that you have in your chart. So let's just see what this entails. I feel anxieties, though, when it comes to the next phase in your life. A lot of you are implementing some type of move. Some transition is happening for you. Choices are being dwindled down. If you have applied for you know, relocation due to work, it's coming through. You might have narrowed down your options, going from seven options to three options. And then from three, you're going to have to decide on one. And I feel like it's, uh, it's nerve-wracking. You know, changes are hard. But I feel like more than anything, for Scorpios, you have very, very strong emotional attachments. So it's hard for you to leave the past behind and, and to move on nonchalantly. It's hard for you to do that. So this one. Okay, so you've got another air sign. So Scorpios, I feel that you are really actually missing somebody. Missing somebody greatly. And, um, okay, we have the Hierophant. So first of all, let's talk about this soul connection here. There is somebody in your life that you have a very strong soul connection with that they make you feel at home. And they might not be a family member. Well, of course, this is a love reading. So no, it shouldn't be a family member. But, you know, whatever. Um, let's just talk about this situation because we have the Two of Cups. <laughs> Sorry, Scorpios. We have the Two of Cups, which indicates some type of a significant relationship, okay? This is the beginning of a brand new relationship. It's also a, a relationship that is built on um, balance, give and take, as well as emotional fulfillment. So a lot of you have somebody like this in your life. A lot of you are, um, I feel like a lot of you are, are looking for this or a lot of you have had this. You've moved away from it and you're yearning for it. Okay. So it can play out in a myriad of ways. 
if you are, you haven't had this, it is right around the corner. It, there is something coming in for you and you have a very strong air sign in your miss air energy. So this is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. That is coming through for you. It's showing up here as the Knight of Swords as well as the Page of Swords. I feel that if you are contemplating travel, travel has to happen first in order for this relationship to come through for you. So it might span, you know, the next three months. But what I'm feeling is this person is marriage material. This person is very, very stable. A lot of you might be in a relationship with an air sign, stable relationship, possibly even a marriage situation. And there might be, you know, you both have a very strong emotional connection with one another. But I feel like the relationship might be a little bit rocky because it's a very strong emotional connection. But in terms of working together as a couple, it, it's a little bit challenging. You might not have like philosophical uh, sameness, okay? So that's how it can play out. And I feel like for those of you in committed relationships, this is also the uh, situation where you are taking a relationship to the next level. We have the Hierophant as well as the Two of Cups, which means some type of like coming together, forming some type of union. So communion, union, taking a relationship to, to the next level, incorporating one another into your household, feeling as if, I feel like religion uh, religious differences, cultural differences, and things like that are being bridged. Cultural divides, religious divides are being bridged so that two people who love each other and who might have different cultural uh, religious upbringings are coming together in a very faded union. So it looks really, really favorable, especially for you Scorpio coupled um, people. If you are socially dating, you are going to meet a very good person, possibly an air sign, air sign, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, possibly a Cancer or a Taurus, okay? So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Cancer or Taurus, based on the cards. And what I'm feeling is this is something that has the potential to be the long haul. But I feel there might be some type of a geographical distance associated with this union where you come together and then you come apart due to the geographical uh, spatial difference. Uh, distance between the two of you. I also want to say for uh, those of you who are still pining for somebody from your past, okay, and this can be within the past three months, let me just say this. I feel like there was somebody in your life where it felt like family, you know, and you had a very good connection with them, and that was the one. You have an opportunity for some type of a do over. Just make sure that's what you really want. And just think about this, if it hasn't worked in the past, how have you changed? How have your life changed? Or how have, you know, your values changed? Has it, have they changed enough where things can work the second time around? So you want to think about that seriously before you jump back into situations from the past. Because I feel like you're in love with the, the good times, but you might not adequately uh, look at the arguments, you know, the, the falling outs and things like that. So you are pining for the good times. You're pining for some past situation where you're only seeing the good times and you're overlooking the conflict. So something to think about, okay, Scorpios? But either way, you have the Two of Cups, which is a very beautiful card denoting some type of spiritual union between two people. It's a very strong soul connection. It's a... Um, relationship that is built on complementarity okay two people coming together the foundation is friendship the foundation is stability so you might be popping the questions if you're in a relationship you might be popping the question you might be taking the relationship to the next level somebody is coming into your life that will allow you to have a very beautiful engaging um emotionally and spiritually expansive type of relationship and it, it I, I'm just uh, reminded of the yearly reading that I did for you guys. And I feel like it's echoing the same themes where you are going to meet somebody that changes your life, where you are going to have that really good foundation for a new relationship. But I feel like for a lot of you, uh, some major changes has to happen. Relocation, movement has to happen first before this situation comes in. So for a lot of you, if you're contemplating a major move, I feel like it's going to come in on the heels of a major move.
okay and that's always the case because when you travel it raises your vibration and it allows the universe to send you like-minded people so i feel like it's good overall 